Welcome to Electro Line. Here's our next example of our first order non homogeneous linear differential equation, and it is xy prime plus y equals sine of x. The general solution is right here, remembering that h is equal to the integral of f dx, f being the function in front of the y, and here's the general format of the equation. Notice that this is not in the general format because we want y prime by itself. So we're going to divide both sides of the equation by x. When we do that, we get y prime plus 1 over x times y equals 1 over x times the sine of x. And now this is in the general form. So the general solution then can be written as this. So, well, before we do that, let's identify what f, r, and h are equal to. So in this case, f is equal to 1 over x. r is equal to the sine of x over x, and h is equal to the integral of f times dx, which is equal to the integral of dx over x, which means that h is equal to the natural log of x. Okay, so plugging that into our general solution equation right there, so we know that y is equal to e to the minus h, and h is the natural log of x. So that would be e to the minus natural log of x times the integral of e to the h, that would be e to the natural log of x, times r, r is the sine of x, divided by x, times dx, plus a constant of integration. All right, simplifying that just a little bit, here we can write this as y is equal to e to the natural log of x to the minus 1, times the integral of <coughs> e to the natural log of x, the exponent, uh, the natural log is negated by the e, so this becomes simply x times the sine of x over x times dx plus a constant of integration. Then this simplifies to y is equal to 1 over x times the x's cancel out. Ooh, and I keep forgetting my integral sign. I can't do that. So the integral of the sine of x dx plus a constant of integration. So now I can go ahead and integrate the sine of x. I know that the derivative is a cosine, so the integral will be the negative cosine. So y is equal to 1 over x times the negative cosine of x plus a constant of integration. And then finally, when I multiply this out, I can say that y is equal to uh, c divided by x minus the cosine of x over x. And that would then be the solution to our first order non-homogeneous linear differential equation. And that's how it's done.